So let's talk about a common video surveillance application, stairwells. Most facilities have them. Um, frequently, the requirement is to put video surveillance in those stairwells for multiple reasons. Sure. Um, you know, trying to see where people went within our facility um, and perhaps what floor they got off, depending on how much detail we're looking for there. And also in today's common occurrences of active shooter hostile events, mm -hmm for evacuation paths, we want to keep an eye on that. So it's a common application, but I don't know that we've ever actually took the time to do a comparison of what cameras, how well they work or don't work in a stairwell. True, so, true. So we created a, um, a camera mount and took two cameras, mounted them side by side, in this case, a standard uh, mini dome camera with a three millimeter fixed lens. Right. So a typical wide angle, that's what we've been using for many years. But we also compared it to a panoramic camera. And the findings are pretty interesting. And seeing them side by side like this uh, uh, is very uh, beneficial to know what these views are actually going to provide a customer, how much we can actually see, what they're going, you know, manage their expectations of what video they're going to get. Yeah, so, I mean, th the nice thing is here, what we were able to do is uh, Steve's customer had a problem. Mm -hmm. How many cameras? What am I going to see before I make a purchase? And again, you know, seeing is believing. Yeah. You know, so uh, you know, coming up with the, uh, you know, the the stand, putting the directional camera in with a uh, panoramic, and actually doing a test. So what we did was took these two cameras and using a common piece of software, Bosch Video Client BBC, side by side, we recorded this. So, um, I guess without any further ado, let's look at what. Yeah. But let's look at these de actual differences. Actually, Steve, before you hit play, you can see in the starting positions what we have is our. Uh, on the right side here are three millimeter mm -hmm. fixed lens. And this 1080p mm -hmm. standard flexi dome. Yep, something we have specified for years for this yep. application, and obviously does a decent job of catching um, uh, two stair staircases here. But it doesn't then, get the landing correct. or the or that sideways Up. stair set. Yep. So which is a good point, Steve. You can see what we can get with a camera, but you can also see what the limitations are right. as well. So on the left side there, we have the panoramic camera, which obviously provides a um, much greater field of view. This is even a little more challenging because you have this outside view. Yep. There's glass at the top of this set of steps. Uh, so when, you, when, we, when we're doing the demo, you, you can see how well the camera performs in this HDR environment where we're actually being able to see outside that piece of glass as well as all the way down to the bottom with just lighting both um, normal lighting downstairs as well as the lighting from the from the piece of glass upstairs. Correct. You ready? Let's take a look. Shoot away. Okay, so the big thing is um, you'll see me go up the stairs and then Tom and I are going to kind of pass each other in the stairs. You'll see that this at one point you lose all of the space you get a little bit of my head but you lose everything below so if somebody literally had fallen down the steps or whatever was hiding there you couldn't see them so here you'll see us both walk I'm walking down Tom's walking up you don't get a very good shot of anything to do with the face or the head with mm -hmm. the standard camera you can see there's somebody there but you completely lose them here so then, you, you know, Tom's going to come back down. You'll be able to see him in the 180 where he's able to, we're able to capture his face. We're able to see that mm -hmm. entire area the entire time. And it is interesting with that three millimeter with the fixed camera, we can get identification of somebody coming and going up and down the stairs, but there is a lot of area that we miss. Uh, we do, we, we miss, like you said, if somebody was injured, right. somebody fell down the stairs in a workplace violence event, maybe there is something tragic happening there. So you do miss a lot of that scene. It's asking the customer and finding out what are you trying to see. If it's just see who comes and goes, well, that, you can see that, here, that's going to be acceptable. You got me all the way at the top of the landing where here you yeah. just caught my feet. Steve, how many cameras, how many directional cameras would we need to cover that area properly? Um, we talked about this a little bit before. Again, this is a bit of an odd set of steps because mm -hmm. it's got that extra width and that, that sideways set of steps. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure you could do it with two, which is kind right. of if a customer mm -hmm. wants to see uh, clearly in their steps, mm -hmm. you need one per run of steps. One but going up, one looking one, down. Exactly, kind of one going that up, scenario. one going down. Yep. So in this scenario, one camera will cover, two, in theory, two landings, the okay. top and the bottom, plus 
the, the landing in the middle at the bottom of the steps. And that's where, with my customer that we initially had looked at this with, mm -hmm. they wanted to be able to see up the steps and down the yeah, steps, so. and they just had a more traditional set of steps where there was a, a run up and a run down mm -hmm. with one flat landing. Right. It didn't have the third, the third set of uh, uh, steps in the middle. So this, again, as, as Nick said, this is a little bit more challenging yeah. um, than a normal set of steps. But again, you can see that it does what what we wanted to, it proves what we wanted to prove, and that is that the yeah. 180 camera in this environment, it's a pretty unique environment, actually is able to, to perform very well. Now, the one thing I'll, I'll throw out there too, you know, you say, well, two cameras versus a 180 camera, you know, w what's the big difference? Uh, I mean, yeah, the 180 camera is going to be more expensive, mm -hmm. it's going to have more bandwidth, it's going to need more storage. But uh, what we also got to look at here is, these are usually difficult installations. Getting wiring in one of these areas. Yeah, concrete stairwells, is a most every one of them. And, and yeah. we're a fire stairwell, that's what this is, right? right. That's what these all are. Yep. Um, but you double set to drywall and all this stuff. So yeah. anything exposed has to be in conduit. I mean yep. all that stuff kinda has right. to come into play with with these with yeah. these applications. So, so so if we can reduce it down by even, you know, half installation the goes. installation cost has got to come down dramatically in these environments, let alone licenses, you know, IP drops, things of that exactly. nature. Exactly, that's so, what I was gonna say. Yeah. With the yep. with these panoramic cameras there frequently they can replace multiple cameras and we reduce that cost of that camera license right. uh, in a lot of cases. And this demonstrates all of the we're finding out more and more all these applications that we're, we're discovering that these panoramic cameras can be used. Yep. Um, and it, this is happening all the time, so it's just another tool in the toolbox to be able to apply yep. to an application and solve a problem and do it effectively and, and sometimes more cost efficiently yep. when one camera can replace many. Yep. Um, and uh, so I think there's a tremendous benefit of knowing what this can do and where to apply it. Absolutely, no. Um, Good, I look forward to doing more demos like yeah. this. It's great to see the technology and, and have a great understanding when we talk to customers and visit sites to know that we're applying the right camera technology mm -hmm. to solve the problem and basically educate them and we're educating ourselves here. It certainly takes yes. the guesswork out of will it work or not or what right. do I get? Yeah. yeah. So yep. as always, we ask customers to reach out to us. We're happy to do this type of demonstration for them or help uh, them with their camera selection and provide the, the right, right technology to uh, uh, solve their problems.